All right. Got to make sure everything's fine here. My screen seems to be up and top of my head's cut off, but everything else seems to be going okay. Is that on? That is on. So we're ready. So it's been a hot second since my last stream. Had to go to a camp and then I um, um, just had a, a weird week after that. So, wow. It seems a lot of people are playing right now. This I am playing right as the last, uh, at least, story patch of Final Fantasy XIV is coming out now. So a bunch of people are playing and people are hyped for Endwalker. So things might be a little busy, but not where we're going to be hanging out. <laughs> Probably. Probably not where we're hanging out. My goal for today is finish uh, most, if not all, of the Korthus missions. So, let's go... Um, Resume and uh -oh. wait. Oh, we're supposed to get a to Camp Dragonhead. So we're heading north, way north. Oh yeah, now I remember. Because I did go and update our look. This is level forty gear that's bought from the vendor. So, we're still going up in the world. I think it looks all like the weird colors mixed together. I don't think it looks very good. But it's, it's efficient stuff. And our shield is... We have the scorpion shield instead of a bull shield. Our sword is different too. Since it's silent here, I don't feel bad about blasting the chocobo theme. So here we go. Hold up. I just realized something. Yep, dang it. <laughs> just realized that we have that I'm on the wrong uh, section of of forgot to update my information. People coming in, it's gonna be weirded out. Uh sorry for the delay, it still says that I'm playing Fonty seven. Which I was meant to start on Thursday. update a few times. There we go. Okay. So now it should be fine. Oh, I shouldn't fly here yet. The talk of Corthus. As you've doubtless realized by now, the high houses of Ishgard, House Four Temps included, are either unable or unwilling to offer you formal assistance in your search. However, that does not mean that you are not influential individuals within each house who are sympathetic to your cause. I shall be sending missives to their various representatives in Ishgard, though I expect it would be quicker and more efficient if you were to make inquiries on your own. Lady Nene, of my own house, Four Temps, who resides here in Camp Dragonhead, rather enjoys the company of travelers. There is also Kravelin, of House ha uh, Halinarte, who can be found at Skyfire Locks, though any information you pry from the scribe may prove difficult to parse. Have you spoken with the chief astrologian of House Durandar yet? Really? Hmm. Perhaps you'd be more accommodating once I inform him that you are a friend of House Four Temps. Do not concern yourself with, with House Desmal. I shall contact them myself. Seek the council of the three I mentioned and return to me when you finish. Yeah, to update, um, we uh, knocked 
this game's Sid out of a um, coma, not a coma, amnesia. And uh, now we're looking for a ship again that crashed somewhere near here when the calamity happened. Again, no music, so here comes <laughs> Blast in the Chocobo theme. Hello now, grant me strength. There must be some way to... Oh, who are you? A friend of Lord Honchfont. I want to help you, I truly do. But these accusations of heresy have thrown House Halinard into chaos. Right now, we must focus on combating these charges and preserving our reputation. Alright then. Oh, are we going up this tower again? Just choke a bar way up a staircase. I gather you have been busy since last we spoke. Lord Honchfont's missive was positively glowing. But if you think this endorsement is cause for me to disregard Iskarian policies, then you are sorely mistaken. We are at war, sir. And the enemy grows bolder by the day. Why, in the short time since Inquisitor Guilame Guilam arrived in Corthus, countless heretics have been discovered, even amongst the elite of Iskarian society. If Lord Honchfont wishes to waste his days chasing after a long-lost airship, then that's his choice. But if he expects others to share in his folly, then he is truly blind to the present state of affairs. I always kind of resent how dark it is in Corthus, even during the day. Well, right now, in-game, it's like 1 a.m., but it doesn't get much brighter. Why, hello there, sir. What's this? An airship, you say? I hate to disappoint you, but I know nothing of what you seek. Likely no one of House Four Temps does, for if they did, I would definitely know as well. The topic on everyone's lips these days is just what will become of young Lord Francel. Some say the allegations are long overdue, given how many members of House Hallenart have been found guilty of heresy in recent days. We were just told to back off by three out of the four houses. Not very useful. By your countenance, I take it you did not learn anything of use. Nor did I, I fear. It seems the whole of court is consumed by the talk of heretics in the high houses. We can only hope that my sources in Ishgar provide proper... Wait, yeah. Proper provide more pertinent information.
Road to Redemption. I had another personal request to make of you. It concerns Lord Francel, of whom much has been whispered in recent days. I have received a report that he and three knights were seen heading north towards the Steel Vigil. The outpost was long ago overrun by the Dravanian Horde, so I am not certain that he intends to accomplish with such a small force. Whatever his motives, I fear for his safety. Pray journey to the Steel Vigil and see if Lord Francel partly requires assistance. Where? Oh, we're going up. Okay. I mean, what I never noticed until you have to stream and you have and there's dead air that there's no music in night in this game. I never noticed it until just now. Who goes there? Shadow? No, stay back. The fiend is still here. That fiend? Oh, I gotta help that guy. I heard the beast cries from over yonder. Then Lord Francis was safe. Bless you, sir. Bless you. Hm. Curse those fiends. It's as though they knew we were coming. Got a sprout here doing the same missions. Confound it all. How are we to redeem House Halenard if we cannot even slay a single Avis? We are fortunate you came along when you did, sir. House Halenard will remember your kindness. It was a foolish thing to do, I know. But I had hoped we might demonstrate our devotion by slaying a number of the scale skin. Moreover... It was House Hollenart that yielded the Steel Vigil to the Horde many years ago. One might say that our defeat uh, here heralded the slow decline of our house's once great name. We have been brought even lower by these despicable accusations of heresy, and despite my best efforts, I have done naught to improve the situation. The day of my trial approaches. Soon, I must accept the judgment of the Inquisitors, whatever they may be. But even should my uh, protestations fall on deaf ears, I will proclaim my innocence to my dying breath. What did you find at the Steel Vigil? Ah, I see. A reckless plan. But at least it did not cost him his knights, his knights their lives. I have news for you as well. A witness to the final fight, flight of the Enterprise has been found. Alas, there is a complication. It has become common knowledge that you paid a visit to Lord Francis at Skyfire Locks not long ago. Upon learning of this, the witness became understandably uh, reticent to make your acquaintance, for fear of being seen in the company of a man who might later be declared a heretic. A not unreasonable fear, given the zeal with, of, with which Inquisitor Guilliame has conducted his investigations. In any case, 
If we wish to obtain his testimony, we must first clear Lord Francis's name, and by you, but by association. Following the evidence. As I see it, the key to proving Lord Francis's innocence is discrediting the evidence against him. I speak of the draconian rosary fa uh, found in the chest you recently discovered. If you would please tell me of the incident in question. So it was found in a locked chest, labeled as the property of Lord Francis. If the rosary was not his, then someone else with access must have planted it. Here's what you must do. Return to Skyfire Locks and speak with Rickman. He worked closely with the porters, who ferries goods across Corthus, so he may have some good inkling of who could be responsible. Speaking to the wrong person. There's Rickman. Eh? Someone tampering with shipments. Fury strike me down. If all them rosaries found in our people's possessions were planted... Hey now, don't you give me that look, lad. I'm a house hell and art man through and through. This heresy nonsense is bad for me and my family too. I ain't saying the porters what we're bringing the shipment did it, though. I know most of them that worked the trade routes, and I never had cause to question their faith. But if it wasn't them either, then your guess is as good as mine. After all... Most every shipment is thoroughly inspected before it. Eh? Could have been the fellows that were responsible for the inspections. Ha! <laughs> These guardian knights and inquisitors is a lot of them. As if you'd ever turn their cloaks. Hmm. Reckon that means the porters are your most likely suspects. Hate to think it, but maybe you should question them. There's a crew coming to Camp Dragonhead from Whitebrim Front this morn. You might consider having a word with them. As we're going back and forth between these two locations, uh, note that at one point the um, mount speed was halved. Half what it is now. This was a dreadful part of the game when it first came out. Beg your pardon. You suspect that we porters have been planting draconian rosaries in House Halenart's shipments? What nerve! And if you truly believe such nonsense, search our parcels and see what you find. Oh, found a rosary. Are you finished? If so, I'd appreciate an apology. But that's impossible. Once the Knights of Whiteburn Front concluded their inspection, I loaded the parcels into the wagon myself. And if I had been the culprit, I would have never allowed you to search my shipments. See what you will to Lord Honchfont. I will not be held accountable for this. Did something happen outside? I thought I heard shouting. Ah, but more importantly, what did Rickman have to say? More draconian rosaries. And every single parcel bound in Skyfire locks? What beggar's belief? Wait, that beggar's belief. Even the Inquisitors must acknowledge that this is no more than a crass attempt to sully House Hollinart's reputation. Whoever's responsible has overplayed his hand. And praise alone that he did. Lord Francis' trial is upon us, and we must act now if we were to clear his name. In the eyes of gods and men. From the very first, I knew it could not be so many members of House Hallmark were heretics. At last, we can give the lie to these poisonous uh, to these poisonous allegations and put an end to the travesty. I will need to prepare a formal statement regarding those developments for the Holy See. In the meantime, I would have you bear my word to Inquisitor uh, Briggy. Tell her that House Four Temps ask, nay, demands that Lord Francis' trial be postponed until a full investigation has been conducted. Now it's starting to brighten up a little bit. 
see the cool medieval architecture. What is it, my child? Hmm. Lord Hanchmont would have the Inquisitors do what? But that is not impossible. Inquisitor Guillaume presides over Lord Francil's trial, at which drop even as we speak. Fear not, if Lord Francil is indeed innocent, he shall walk into Holony's halls with the fallen heroes of Ishgard. That's not, uh, not very comforting. They have taken Lord Francil to Witch Drop? This is madness. The Inquisitor does not have significant, sufficient grounds to subject him to the manner of trial. I will not stand idly by and allow an innocent man to die. Shadow, I will dispatch you and one of my knights to Witch Drop to forestall the proceedings until such time as I am able to join you and petition, uh, and petition in Inquisitor Guillaume in person. I will endeavor not to keep you waiting too long. Do whatever you must to keep Lord Francis alive. I actually just went to autopilot, and I still didn't want to fly around here. But, you know what? It's fine. Hail, Shadow. As you can see, Lord Francil yet lives. We must try to reason with the Inquisitor, but if his guards judge us as a threat, we must also be prepared to defend ourselves. Alright, here it goes. Joseph Charlemagne, Francois de Hallenart, you stand accused of heresy against the Holy See of Isgard. Is there aught you wish to say in your defense? Hear me, brothers. Those, cha those charges are false. The men and women of my line have, have ever opposed the Javanians, and I am no different. Since the very birth of our nation, we have gladly shed blood in service to the Holy See. Condemn me, and you will strike a blow for the enemies of Isgard. It is for Halone to judge if you speak the truth. Prove your innocence in the eyes of gods and men. Leap from this cliff and entrust your fate to the fury. The righteous shall take their place in Halone's halls, while the wicked shall reveal the dragon form and be put to the sword. In the name of Hell's Four Temps, I beseech you, stay your hand. Inquisitor, we have come on behalf of Lord Hanchfont. My lord has uncovered evidence which suggests that the charges against Lord Francil are without merit. We humbly request that these proceedings be suspended until such time as a full re-examination of the facts has been conducted. Lord Hanchfon has allowed his personal relationship with the accused to cloud his judgment. That he could not harbor pre private doubts I might have allowed, but that he would dare interfere in legal proceedings sanctioned by the Holy See I cannot. To defy the will of the Inquisitors to commit heresy, a crime for which there is only but one punishment. We must hold them until Lord Hanchfon arrives, Shadow. And remember, no harm can come to the Inquisitor. Hmm. Let me let's get rid of his healer first. Here comes Hodgefont. Where are they going? Oh, there's there's more. Wyvern, wait. Man, I wish I could read those fast enough. Oh, it's invulnerable. What is...
Can we hurt the wyvern now? Nope. It's running away though. Alright. It is not our intention to defy the will of the Lord Archbishop. But this trial, like many others I fear, has been orchestrated by enemies of House Hollenard. They have used you and your fellows to sow discord, Inquisitor, to set brother against brother, that we may tear ourselves apart. The fevered imaging, imaginings of a desperate man. What proof have you of this? I'm so short here. All these L's and... Alright. By the fury, a draconian rosary? Then the knight who refused to yield, it was he who summoned the wyvern. A heretic in the ranks of the temple knights. This has a grave implications. Your claims would appear to have merit, Lord Hodgefont. I shall withdraw my charges against Lord Francel, pending further investigation. I trust you have not lost sight of that which first brought you to court this shadow. Pray locate your errant ship and use it. In my mind, Guilame is voiced by Leonor Nimoy. Alright, Lord Hodgefont, I have not the words to express my gratitude, but what would you risk? Your, why would you rip? But why would you risk your reputation to save mine? Because I know you, boy. You're too loyal to betray Ishgard and too devout to question your sentence. Had we been any slower, you'd been you'd jumped off of your own free will. I, I would have done whatever it took to redeem House Hallenart. Praise Alone did not come to that. But it prophesies not it prophesies little to dwell on what might have been. Let us quit this place, Shadow. Pray visit me at Camp Dragonhead once you have recuperated. Ah. Now that it's day. As day as it gets around here, I guess. Finally got music. I never noticed these guys taking an ice bath over here. <laughs> Wait, is that the sun? In Corthus? A rare sight. I spoke too soon. It actually is pretty bright and pretty right now. I don't know why I'm going up here. I'm trying to go back to Hanchfont. <laughs> you look well, Shadow. May I say what a pleasure it was to fight alongside such a fearless and skillful warrior. Were it not for you, Lord Francel would have surely have died defending the honor of his house, and I might have well have perished at the hands of, uh, of a heretic and his wyvern. House Fortemps and House Hollenart shall never forget this service. Now let us return to the matter of your missing enterprise. The final flight of the enterprise. The man with knowledge of the enterprise awaits you outside. I pray his information proves useful to you. How quickly the commoners' opinions change. They say Lord Francis was innocent now, uh, but just a few days prior. Anyway, you were inquiring as to the whereabouts of an airship last seen in Kortha several days before the Calamity, yes? Well, it so happens that I was monitoring the night sky at the observatorium during the period. I recall that a small vessel came from the direction of Gridania and landed near the stone vigil in the far northwest. The garrison almost certainly seized the vessel and brought it within their walls. If so, then you would need an army of knights to have any hope of securing it. Though Lord Hanchfont is, from all indications, quite fond of you, so mayhap he can lend you a few. In any case, I have done my part. I shall pray for your success, friend. Oh, so you've uh, at last located the Enterprise. I believe congratulations are in order. The Stone Vigil. Ah, perhaps I spoke too soon. The outpost has been held by the dragons for years, and all access is restricted by decree of House Durandare. 
I will write a letter to Lord uh, Gillamont of Whiteburn Front and request that he grant you permission to enter. That said, I fear my influence alone will not suffice, so I suggest that you uh, request Lord Francil to do the same. Now that your business in Camp Dragonhead is concluded, I suspect we, uh, we may not meet again for some time. I wish you well on your journey, Shadow. May Helm guide you. We're going to get a lot more of him in the first expansion, so we'll be back for Haunchfont. Didn't even see all this. I was trying to go down. <laughs> Wonderful to see you again, Shadow. Is there anything I can do to repay you? You name it. So the airship you seek is likely inside the stone visual. It shames me to say that it, too, was once an outpost held by House Helen Art. In the chaos that followed the calamity, the Dravonian horde caught us unawares. The fiends have hold, held the outpost ever since. As we lack the strength of arms to retake the stone vigil, House Durandera instead has been charged with the duty. Given that, I doubt that my words will carry much weight with Lord uh, Drillmont. Nevertheless, I will write you your letter. Before you depart, a word of caution. The Cravens who attempted to destroy House Halinar have yet to be unmasked. Though their plans have foiled, they doubtless still harbor great hatred towards us, and towards you, now as well. Alright. So now we have a kind of long chocobo trip all the way to the west side. I'll cheat a little bit. Fly over. And there's our look at Ishgard. A very weird not to scale look at Ishgard. You desire an audience with Lord Drillamont, do you? Ha! I desire a night in a warm bed with my wife, but wishing won't make it so. What do we have here? Letters from Lord Honchlant and Francel, is it? A likely... Oh, you're serious. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Ye of little faith. Your timing could not have been worse, Traveler. Lord Drillmont's attentions are focused solely on the stone vigil at present. In any case, it is not my responsibility to escort visitors. Take your letters and show them to... Sir Alboy. Yes, Sir Alboy can surely accommodate you. Seek her in the storeroom on the opposite side of the yard. Sir Bernadier bade you speak with me, did he? I know not why he presumed I would be in the better position to help, but I assure you that he is mistaken. Lord Drillamont hasn't the time to spend speaking with low-ranking knights such as I. However, he always has a moment to spare for head curmudgeon uh, Astidian. Why not visit the infirmary upstairs and show your letters to him?
Um. There he is. Are you here to visit a patient, sir? What's this? Letters of introduction from House Four Temps and Helen Art. With documents such as these, you needn't seek an escort. Pray proceed to the barracks and speak to to Lord uh, Gordoneau. He should know Lord Drillamont's current whereabouts. Um, is there a reason Alpha knows just chilling here? <laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to notice him yet. Okay, more of these not OSHA uh, certified staircases. What reason do you have for barging into? Oh, I see. Well, you were in luck. Lord Gillamont is just up these stairs. Let us know, though, I would not expect much. House Durandera as a whole does not hold adventurers in high regard. You had best state your intentions quickly and and scrutinly. So it's proper with show proper respect, and it shall be returned in kind. So Gordon O perm permitted your passage. Very well. Speak. You wish to brave a ruined outpost filled with scale skin. Wait, it's scale kin. To secure an airship that may or may not be there. Are you the avatar of the Fury herself? <laughs> we are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, Lord Drillmont. You know our name, and you know our deeds. We are come to Corthus to slay Garuda, Lord of the Vortex. To that end, we seek the Enterprise, the airship of Master Sid Nan Garland. Who stands before you now? Master Garland, you're alive, but that's impossible. Indeed it is, my lord. Do not be deceived by their honeyed words. These foreigners are not to be trusted. At this critical moment in his guardian history, as House Durandere marshals its forces to retake the stone vigil, who would appear in Wiper in front but three mysterious strangers? Sid Garland, missing and presumed dead since before the Calamity, and two Scions of the Seven Dawn, a defunct band of misfits recently exterminated by the Empire. The lesser houses may have been duped by these grandiose lies, but I should hope that House Durandere would have a greater sense. I know not why these three seek the Stone Vigil, but I know that we cannot permit them to pass. Thank you for your counsel, Inquisitor. For a moment, I nearly believe this mummer's farce. You three will not enter the outpost until we've reclaimed it, and until you declare your true intentions as well. It could be moons before House Durandere purchased the dragons from the Stone Vigil. We cannot afford to wait that long. Sid, Shadow, we must do whatever it takes to earn ha Lord Drummond's trust. Understood? Right. Um Where is a uh, Where's our mission? Is it up more? What the heck? Well, there's a quick way to the bottom. Oh, okay, it's under the stairs. You the lad responsible for that common com commotion upstairs? Aye. Word travels fast in white brim front. I gather you still wish to cha change Lord Drummond's mind. If there's one thing I've learned about this man in my time is that he listens to and respects the opinions of those under his command. Went over the barracks, and he's sure to take notice. How, you ask? That's easy. Serve the poor soul's decent fare for a change. The last few supply shipments contain no meat whatsoever, and the knights are right, rightfully beginning to complain. 
I'm thinking we should prepare them steaks using the mud puppy tail meat. Twas, twouldn't be a quality meal, tis true, but it'd be a damn sight better than nothing. If you've a mind to lend a hand, why not await a lurking mud puppy in, in uh, Dunifian Pass and take the bottle of vinegar? Locals say it weakens mud puppies by clogging their mucus glands, drying their skin. Before you get horrified, mud puppies are like these salamander things. Alright, I always hate leaving this place, so we are going to fly out. Because there's different things that lead different directions, and some you can't. Some you can't go through. Some lead to the other side of Corthus. It's it's annoying. I don't remember chinchillas. Are they someone new? I wonder if I'll even need the, uh, the, um, the oil or whatever they gave me. The vinegar, yeah. It was strong. Wonder what my puppy tastes like. It didn't work, did it? I I thought it was an idiotic idea. Oh dear, remind me never to wander near no puppy spawning grounds without a bottle of vinegar. Any road, this should only take a moment. I'll just need to do this, and this, and voila. Never seen a man cook steaks that fast, have you? Take these three and distribute them to hungry knights here and up above. You there, lad. Don't think I didn't see you and the cook conspiring together. Let me make myself perfectly clear. If you wish to buy my trust with a steak, it would be my pleasure to oblige you. Maha, <laughs> yes, I feel invigorated, refreshed, as if I have the strength of ten men and their wits besides. I, I should have no trouble concocting a new reason to refrain from sentry duty. We ought at least receive a hearty meal before we march off to die in this godforsaken waste. Is that a fresh cooked steak? Alone's blessings be upon you, my friend. My puppy meat or no, it's the most delicious food I've had in a fortnight. Ever must be trained to maintain our skill at arms, yet never are we to receive proper sustenance. You are a godsend, my friend. Too few appreciate that House Durandera must do more than its fair share for the sake of Ishgard. It feels wonderful to see everyone in such high spirits. Amazing what good food can do for morale, eh? Ah, uh, but I've forgotten about the hard-working uh, Cherugians at the infirmary. So rarely do they take their meals here in the hall. Mind taking the, this steak to Sonoda? She's doubtless so preoccupied with the health of her patients that she's neglected to attend to her own. Beg your pardon, sir, but I'm busy attending to this man. I'll be with you in a moment. Is that? Come to think of it, it has been quite a while since I last ate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have a nibble. 
Oh my, this is fantastic. Thank you so much. I'll eat the rest of right away. The best inventions. Might I have a word with you, Shadow? It concerns the Cherugians. After speaking with them earlier, I learned that they lack sufficient uh, a mailbox for their needs, you see. So I've used some of their broken equipment to craft a more advanced uh, Alembic, both as a gesture of goodwill and as a means to help me recover my memories, since working with my hands uh, kindles familiar feelings. All I require to complete the devices are the cores of three ice sprites. Though commonly used to reduce the temperatures of alchemical mixtures, there is a way to alter their properties so that they draw the cold within rather than radiate it without. It must sound ridiculous to you, impossible even, yet somehow I know it will work. I mean, using cold to keep things cold doesn't seem too extreme, Sid. Yes, he... Okay. I feel like at one point, the rocks went all the way to the, to the stone here. Maybe it was worse when it first came out. I just really don't have good fond memories of this area the first time I played through this. Did that chocobo just ditch me in midair instead of falling? Oh well. Have you obtained the course? If so, please show them to me. What an amazing device! But is it truly an, an uh, Olympic device? I've never seen its like before. I too am unsure of what to make of this machine. While uh, certainly impressive, I have no idea how to make use of it. Nevertheless, if it is effective as he claims, it will be a great boon to the infirmary. Think of the medicines we could create, the lives we could save. Even so, I wonder. Where, th where thee, the kindly strangers, bearer of gifts wondrous and strange, for his generosity comes at a cost. Their earnest efforts are but a means to, to an as yet unknown end. Moreover, you should be wary of associating with individuals who have interfered with the questioning of a suspected heretic. They did what? Bless you, Inquisitor, for coming along when you did. We almost have come to the temptation proffered by these, these unbelievers. Why does this man detest us so? Is it all because we interrupted Lord Francis's trial? Whatever his reasons, he clearly means to oppose us at every turn. Influencing Inquisitors Before we can persuade Lord Dromont to help us, it seems we must convince Inquisitor uh, Gulame that we are not his enemy. But just how might we go about doing that? We know little and less about the good Inquisitor, despite him being such a prominent figure in Corthus. Perhaps we should learn more by speaking with the people of White Brim Front. Share your feelings with Alphanai in the square. I'm sure he can formulate a strategy from there. Inquisitor Gulame? Yes, of course I know him. Alas, I have not seen him since the day he came to Whiteburn Front several moons ago. My memory is somewhat muddled, but I recall that a blizzard nearly buried us in the snow that day, and I had the ill fortune of being assigned to the Night's Watch. While the strongholds slept, we walked the walls and patrolled the exterior in a darkness black as pitch. 
My route took me outside the eastern gates at one point, where I caught sight of a silhouette illuminated by the light of the city. Thinking it was a wayward traveler, I cried out and gave chase, but slipped and took a terrible fall. When I woke, it was days later in his very bed where I have lain recuperated from my injuries ever since. I had tried to rescue him, but in the end, Inquisitor Galambi rescued me, carrying my unconscious body to the gates. I owe my life, and I hope one day he repays. I can repay the kindness. Okay, there's somebody else in here to talk to. Hmm. Ah, it's below. Inquisitor Gulame? I haven't the foggies of whom you speak, unbeliever. Aye, we have learned of your deeds in which drop. I will not be party to whatever dastardly schemes you have hatched against the Inquisitor. Away with you. I just realized his name is Beef Swellington. That's great. Under Inquisitor Golami's watchful gaze, unprecedented members of heretics have been unmasked and brought to justice. They say he goes days without sleep. So great is his devotion. Blessed are we to have such a goodly, righteous man to protect us. The Holy See has decreed that the Inquisitors are the arbiters of Halone's will. They are to be afforded every courtesy and utmost respect. In case you have yet to notice, my attire is ill-suited to this climate. I realized it soon after our arrival, but paid it as to no mind. But paid it no mind as I had hoped we might find the enterprise far faster. Instead, we've wasted far too much time meddling in local affairs. Never mind. Our journey is almost to an end. All that remains is to deal with this irksome inquisitor. Sid tells me you've been busy making inquiries. Yes. Hmm. It should come to no surprise at all that he has held a high regard. Even so, I'm beginning to suspect he has other reasons for hindering us now. Let us more closely review the testimonials you obtained, Shadow. Mayhap they will provide insight into Inquisitor Guilame's motivations. By the lights of Ishgard. Something troubles me about that wounded knight's account. He claims he fell chasing a figure in the darkness that he saw outside the eastern gate. But, yes, but the main road leads to the southwestern gate. Since we've arrived in Whiteburn Front, I've seen no travelers arrive by the Eastern Gate. Moreover, he said he glimpsed the silhouette illuminated by the light of the city, which would imply that the Inquisitor came from the north of the Eastern Gate, not south. But it cannot be so. That, uh, that way lies not but a deep chasm. Assuming uh, Sir Jalon is not misremembering, the Inquisitor's behavior that night makes absolutely no sense, at least to me. Mayhap retracing his steps will shed light on the mystery. Are we supposed to go the other way? So I'll jump over this wall. It's a big dead dragon. Oops. Hmm. We've uncovered a bloody body. Of an inquisitor. You found something, didn't you? Well, don't keep me waiting in suspense. Let's see it. Hmm. Given the contents of the encyclical. I believe you have just made the acquaintance of the real Inspector Gulami. Newly come to Corthus and murdered on the day of his arrival. Yes, it would have been such a simple thing to assume his identity, 
For even if he were to behave oddly, who would dare question the wisdom of a palpal appointment? Papal appointment. Still, whilst it's in, in and controvertible proof that the Inquisitor is an imposter, we have yet to discern his true identity or why he has decided to oppose us. We must proceed quickly, Shadow, before he learns that his deception has been discovered. Blood for blood. Since Lord Drummond has already been t turned against us, I fear that this incendical alone will not serve to convince us of our claims. But what might persuade a man so quick to disregard the endorsements of two high houses? The cook did say that, that the Lord listens to and respects the opinions of his knights. If a certain knight were to provide testimony and provide our claim, yes, mayhaps that is the only way. Confront Sir Gelope with the evidence you've discovered and see if it helps him to recall the truth of that knight. As a man of faith, he may find it difficult to cope with such horrifying revelation. Nevertheless, we must do everything within our power to secure the Enterprise. Oh, he's over here. No, he's downstairs. Oh, you've returned. Is there something else you wanted to ask? The Inquisitor is an imposter? Don't be preposterous. That could not possibly be true. He is a paragon of virtue, a dedicated servant of the Fury. You would have me believe that this is a lie. If you are so certain that our ludicrous story is true, then go and speak with Sir uh, Prunilla. She was at the Eastern Gate that night, and she helped the Inquisitor carry me here. But I will never speak against the man who saved my life. Oh, was she up or down? Okay, she's right here. You. I I do not believe I know you, sir. Pray, move along and trouble me no more. Are you in the habit of handing bloody documents to strangers? Why would you show me such a dreadful thing? I thought not of it. I wait. I know not of it. None at all. We need to... Doubt. Would doubt be a uh, yeah there it is aggressively point you know don't you fury take me I prayed this day would come when Sir Tullo gave chase I followed close behind he didn't fall one of those Javanian abominations lashed out at him nearly killed him right then and there I drew my sword and rushed to his side straining to see the enemy but what came from the dark was not a beast but a voice he he knew things about me about my family Secrets I had never told ain't another. He said that if I kept his confidence, Sir Delo and I would be spared, but if I defied him, everyone I loved would suffer unimaginable horrors before they died. When at last I agreed to his terms, the man came forward, his robes marked him as an inquisitor, and but I knew him to be false. Together we carried Sir Delo to the infirmary, and on his first night in Whiteburn Front, Inquisitor Grilame was heralded as a hero. Soon after came the accusations. Countless men and women of good moral standing seized was in uh, possession of draconian rosaries. As I feared, he was condemning the innocent to death. I wanted to confess to Lord Drummond, wanted to put an end to the badness, but then I would remember the Inquisitor's threats, and so I did nothing until Lord Francis was accused. Some time ago, I followed the Inquisitor and found that he kept draconian rosaries in a chest hidden southeast of Whiteburn Front, so I took several from his chest and planted them in shipments bound for Skyfire Locks, as I hoped. They were discovered and uh, considered evidence of a conspiracy against ha House Helenart, thus exonerating Lord Francel and casting doubt on the other's secret trials. And that is the entire truth, I swear. Helen, forgive me for not acting sooner. So she helped us by sabotaging some of the um, packages. Let's jump the fence here. Will be fine. Okay, just a suspicious box. Why do you persist in this folly? I will not grant you. 
three access to the stone vigil. Do not make me repeat myself. There had better be a very good exclamation for why you're carrying these rosaries. And where did you find this paper is cylindrical? Fury, take me. The Inquisitor is a heretic? Never before have I heard such an unbelievable tale, but this evidence and your testimony could not could have no other explanation. I have misjudged you and your friend, Shadow, and for this I deeply apologize. I will permit you to enter the outpost, but first, I must needs beg your assistance. Help me in my night to bring this infernal imposter to justice. The Heretic Among Us that thrice damned heretic has murdered countless innocents and made a mockery of our laws, else take him and his Dravanian allies. I am told he makes for the snow cloak even now, intending to pass judgment upon yet another poor soul who is branded heretic. If we hurry, there may be some time to prevent further tragedy. Lend me your strange shadow. Together, let us put an end to the impostor's heresy once and for all. Ooh, this place is spooky. And low res. <laughs> no, not low res. They just have a weird... I don't even know what's happening here. Good to have you with us, sir. When Lord Drummond arrives, we are to confront the Inquisitor. If he refuses to go quietly, we will need to use force. Are right, you prepared for that eventuality? You needn't tremble so, my child. The righteous shall enjoy everlasting peace in Alone's halls. Only the wicked. But why? Why must I die? By all that is holy, I swear to you that I have never questioned the teaching of Alone. Inquisitor, release the maid and come with us. My lord Drummond, what is the meaning of this interruption? You are aware that I am pres at present conducting an interrogation, are you not? Silence, villain. I name thee heretic, murderer of, his of Inquisitor Willam and countless innocents. You are a traitor to Ishgard, to your own kith and kin. Your sins are beyond measure, beyond redemption. Ah, grave allegations indeed, but you will find your logic is flawed. How can I betray that which I owe no allegiance? No, Lord Drummond, my conscience is quite clear, I assure you. I wonder, can you say the same? You whose hands are black with the blood of those who only sin has to question, wait, who only sin was to question your nation's crazed crusade. You speak to me of Ishgardian innocence? <laughs> all are complicit in these crimes, for all live, for all live their lives by the arch archbishop's lies. But I know you will not hear me, deafened by dogma as you are. If you desire re retribution, Lord Drummond, then come. Let us see how Ishgardian steel fares against Trevonian fang and claw. worm somewhere. Ah, here they come. Dude, that knight was heading for him. This guy, need, this knight needs a raise.
Ooh, he's a dragon now. Ah, uh, here comes the wyvern from before. And more wormhounds. I do remember this scenario being kind of difficult. My glamour's dispelled. Your plans lie in ruin, heretic. Choose your words wisely, for they will be your last. <laughs> you may not recall the many Ashgardians I have sentenced, but the families of the dead will never forget. Blood has been repaid with blood, and for that I am content. My only regret is that you live. But your end is nigh, foreigner. The dragons within the stone vigil will rend you asunder, and when you are dead, wipe in front shall fall. Defiant to the last, leave the body for the crows. His ilk deserves not better. Shadow, I must apologize for involving you in this sorbid business. You should have been asked to... You shouldn't have been asked... You should never have been asked to intervene in its guardian affairs of state. Rest assured, I have not forgotten the matter which first brought you into our midst. It is past time that you have reunited with your airship. But this is not the place to discuss such matters. Pray, visit me at Whiteburn Front and bring your associates. The weird lighting effects in this game are so cool. I'll say, I was about to say, am I missing something? Oh, I'm supposed to speak with Alphano, not Drummond. Well, waste of an entrance. Where have you been, Shadow? Hmm. The False Inquisitor has been slain, has he? Yes. Well, this was a tale always. Uh, well, this was a tale always like to end in bloodshed. Though you've overcome the latest in a long line of unfortunate impendents. I would ask you not to. I would ask you not to revel in your victory just yet. We can celebrate once we have secured the enterprise. In pursuit of the past, as I am sure you will agree, it is past time we enter the stone vigil. Pray Lord Jomon to visit and remind him of his obligation to us. Sid and I will follow him on.
We owe you all a great debt of gratitude. Had it not been for the heretic masquerading as Inquisitor Gulam, would still among wait. Had it not been for you, the heretic masquerading as Inquisitor Gulam would still be among us, free to prey upon the innocent. I see now that I was a fool to dismiss your claims out of hand, but you must understand. It seems too much to hope that the signs of the seventh dawn still lived. To say nothing of Master Garland, never have I been happier to been proven wrong. Well, it is gratifying to know that someone has derived a measure of enjoyment from your error. Now, if you have no further objections, we would appreciate if you would permit us to enter the stone vigil and receive our airship. Yes, yes, of course. It's the very least I can do, given all that you have done for us. But entering the outpost is the least of your concerns, I fear. You speak of the Trevanians that hold the ruin. In yes, in part yes, I should explain. Shortly after you first arrived, I had my men scour the old records. They confirmed that an abandoned airship has been seized by the soldiers garrisoned at the Stone Vigil in the days following the Calamity. As far as we have been able to ascertain, it was still in their custody when the outpost was overrun by the dragons. Whether it was damaged or destroyed during the battle, I cannot say, nor can I give you any assurances that it has not been removed in the intervening years. For far too long, the ruin has served as Dravanian footholds in Corthus, from which they have struck out as us with depressing regularity. Though we have pushed them back behind the walls, we have uh, as of yet been unable to drive them out, and I cannot say uh, when the situation will change. Or how it will change. Forgive me, Lord Drillmont, but there is no guarantee that you will prevail. In any event, we have not the time to wait. We will secure our property with, without Ishgardian aid. I see. Well, that may be for the best. I will inform Sir uh, Nethalyn of your impending visit. May I alone guide you, Scions. This is a really close and terrifying proximity to an enemy base they have here. Well, I guess there are garlic and footholds everywhere in Eorzea, yeah, so it's not the worst. Hail, Shadow. Lord Drummond has appraised me of the situation. You may enter the Stone Vigil whenever you wish. Alright. So here we go. Undersized party. Confirm. The Stone Vigil. We're finally to a dungeon where it's taking more than one hit to kill stuff. Why are the Outflyers stronger than the Avises?
I've forgotten a lot about the stem visual, so I'm peeking in for, like, keys or something that might be used later. Alright, first boss. Judo Yudo. Man, this is making me impatient to get to Final Fantasy XII, seeing all these, because it's the same models, the same dragon models are, that are using this from Final Fantasy XII. Does this count as dragons? I mean, I guess. Second boss time. Cochet. And the final boss kind of peeked at us there. Oh, did I miss a key? Okay, good. Look, it's the Enterprise. Yes, just beyond that enormous sleeping dragon. The dragon is not our concern. We have come for the airship and only the airship. Sid, you and I will sneak aboard the Enterprise and prepare it for launch. Shadow, you stay here and keep an eye on the beast. If it wakes, we may need you to provide a distraction until we're ready to depart. You can manage that, can't you? That settles it then. So, shall we leave, Sid? As you command. So you mean to slay Garuda next? Interesting. Most interesting. And you are aware that her strength greatly exceeds that of your previous primal conquest, a testament to the fanatical devotion of her followers. The Ixor are nothing if not zealous. In spite of our past achievements, I labor to believe that you will best this foe. Yet only a fool would underestimate the great bringer of light, slayer of Ifrit, bane of Titan. If any mortal is capable of defeating the Lady of the Vortex, it is you. Win or lose, the battle should at least make for an entertaining spectacle, assuming, of course, he lived that long. Alpha no, the dragon. Confound it all.
Let us see how well your blasphemous gifts serve you in this time, Crystal Bear. Alright, we'll, we'll see. Not too bad. I think the gifts help. And if we're for the cutscene, I think that was the fastest we've gotten through a dungeon. Shadow, Shadow, are you alright? Speak to me. Twelve be praised. I feared the beast had injured you. I see now why the others rated you so highly. When you were caught in the midst of that Aetheric bubble with the dragon, it was all but I was all but certain the next mission would be to find a new champion. Thank the gods for sparing me that inconvenience. I have quite enough to do already, which reminds me. Sid is working on the Enterprise as we speak. Let us go and see what he has to say. What did you say, Sid? Will she fly? Yes, though it will not be a pleasant ride. Well, I dare say it will be no more unpleasant than staying here. It is a pity the Enterprise is not in a better state, but if she will allow us to quit this place, I shall not complain. If all are in agreement, let us return to Gridania. Though I would like nothing more than to set course for the Howling Eye, it is plain that the Enterprise is in no condition to weather the storm. She must needs be repaired if we are to proceed with our mission. This is all so familiar. I... I know this airship. If I could just... Bah! It's no use. Let's go. Ah, now I, I have longed for the more agreeable climate of the Twelveswood. Yet I will not deny the Holy See had its charms. Endless detours aside, our Ishgardian jaunt proved quite an adventure. Alas, our work is far from done. We still have an airship to repair and a primal to slay. No rest for the heroic, huh? And I do think, since I said we were going to get out of Corthus, and we are now out of Corthus, that that is where I'm going to end today. Thank you for for uh, stopping by or listening in later. Um, and uh, 
See you next Saturday.